<laughs> yeah. So in the previous video related to uh, openphone.com, the version by ESI, I forgot to install all the external solver, Petsy. There is a new library called Petsy for phone. This is not compulsory, but it's very interesting. Petsy is a very efficient linear solving, highly scalable. I use this a lot, a lot for something else, but not much were open for, but now there is the capability to install that, to install a library. And I will address that in this video. Okay. So if you're curious, you can find Petsy here. It's a fantastic library. If you have time or you can play with it. So as you saw, I have a few instructions here that you have the link and you can download. So if you manage to install open phone 2306, like in the previous video, like we did in the previous video, this should be out of the box. So here I already opened my, uh, virtual machine in Windows system for Linux. Remember this instruction apply for any Linux, uh, independently of how, how you are using it can be WSL. It can be virtual machine like VMware, or it can be a dual booting. So the first thing let's load open phone. We have it there and let's go to the directory. So here we have the steps. I will just do it. So I will copy and paste. Now the so very important. I have the path in my computer. So you have a different username. Just remember to adjust that. And we are here in the third party library. There is a make Petsy directory uh, file. I don't recommend you to use it. Sometimes it gives problems. So I prefer to do it manually. So I will, I will download Petsy. Uh, I'm using this version, but the latest one is 322. If you want, you can download that. Just put it there and then remember to update everything, also the path in your computer. So let me put it there. And it is downloaded, this, downloading this library. And a little bit delay. See, I don't want to update these instructions. And I know this works well sometimes when you use a new version. Maybe they change a name in a new library. So it can be. A little bit problematic. I don't know. I haven't tested, but feel free. Extract the libraries and see that now we have Petsy there. And now we enter in the library. And the next, this step here, this critical here is how we configure uh, Petsy. So in that script that comes with OpenFund, they use a different configuration that sometimes can give problems. So this one is the one that worked for me. Okay. It's everything optimized. So let's use this one. Just copy and paste. It's going to create the configuration scripts. So everything should work out of the box. It will take a little bit while it's config configuring everything. So let's wait. Okay. At this point, uh, the configuration is create is done and you can proceed to the next step. So this is just configuration. You have it here. Okay. So copy this line. Maybe you're using this. This is your personalized now make script here. I have for my computer, but just copy what you have here. It's exactly the same. So copy and paste, and now it's going to compile the whole library. So previously configure everything, download a few libraries, and now we go into the compilation. Again, let's wait a little bit. Okay. So the configuration, the compilation went fine. And at the end of the compilation of this task, see always you're going to get here your next step. Okay. So copy this one, paste it, and this is the installation. Okay. The installation is just moving libraries and it is going to copy everything in the right location. So here we have it. Okay. So look at that. It's telling you the next step, this one, just to check everything. So let's copy this one, put it here. And now it will run some basic cases and everything was okay. So this means that open for a uh, pet C has been installed. And remember that we install everything here in our local computer. Let me clean up here. And precisely everything will be installed in this directory dependent. And then you have all the libraries include and everything, all the development. So at this point, we can move to the next step. So after you, we finish everything, 
Okay, we go to the next step is we go to the main directory and here you have these models. So you enter in models. So we're compiling a model and want to uh, draw your attention that you have different models here. Okay, you have CS Mesh and some other models, so it's up to you. In this case, we're interested in external solver, but if you want to add some extra model, just here you have it, now the, the ones available. So now that we're there, we proceed proceed with the compilation. So let's use this specific uh, command just to compile. So everything will be installed in this directory, okay? So let's do it. And so if you have OpenFone installed as a user, there is no problem. If you have OpenFone installed in your whole system, or the global installation, you will need uh, a, the super user rights, no administrator, administrator rights okay so i do it and it will compile now the model pet for pet c for phone which is this model and it will be linked with open phone this is relatively fast and then at the end you're going to have this small message pay attention to this message now so now you copy this one and if it is telling you that it can load pet c you can use it. But here see that it's telling you that you cannot load PC for phone because it doesn't find the the open the pet C library. So there are a few ways to load the library. I recommend you to use this line. So have it at hand because every time that you load uh, open phone, you need to execute this command or to make things easier, you can add the location of pet C in etc bash RC the one for open phone in your user environment variables, or you can use this command. To remind you that pet C, it is installed here. If you follow my same steps and you're using my same image, it will be located here. So here you have the library, so you need to export. So this is what you need to, to type in your batch, in your terminal, or add to your batch RC to load pet C, okay? Or you can use this technique that probably this is one of for open phone, but to use this one, you need to load first open phone. And now so you go here, see that can load Petsy for phone and you are ready to go. So to do a simple test, just go here. I will do this one basic Laplacian flange. It's a quite fast. And let's run first the case in Syria. So if everything goes fine, you should have your log files and so also here you have log Laplacian and see that it's loading pet C and it's using that solver. So this was the case in Syria in serial. Let's do it now, the same stuff, but the case in parallel. And there you go. Now it's running for processes and type there and everything is fine working. Okay, let's get out there and let me clean up this a little bit so at this point you are sure that you know open phone and this one you can test a case a little bit more complex though so let's go simple phone and you can run any of these cases okay they are more complex and using the new the the, the new pet C solver so i'm not going to to do it's up to you but interesting here you have a little bit the syntax so remember that in the control day you need to load your library and then the new solver so as you recall then previously in open phone you have like gan and stuff like that okay cg and so on so now we're accessing solver pet c and preconditional pet c and then but see this library, it has many, many, many uh, solvers. So it's up to you to read documentation. The documentation is very complete, but it has a lot of stuff. And at this point, it's really up to you to play around. My personal experience, this is very, very efficient. But the problem with OpenFund is the data structure, you know, how to pass the matrices from OpenFund to Petsy. So probably there you lose a little bit performance. But as you find, you know, the, the right uh, combination of solvers precondition and synduction i think you, you can get and speed up in the in your simulation and here's where i think not today in any solvers where we can get a speed up in linear solvers you are having using highly efficient linear solvers you can get here sometime the time that you are going to get not to gain for your computation it not it is not going to be 10 times faster now unless you are using really bad 
uh, linear solvers, you know, your base computation. It will be a little bit, no, but then you will realize when you start to add here and there, that can count probably a uh, two, five, ten percent reduction of your time. But uh, I want to stress this one, this is not a miracle, okay? Sometimes can work, sometimes cannot work. So if you are a beginner in open phone, honestly, I will say that I don't recommend you to waste too much time here because you can, uh, it can be a little bit confusing and it requires knowing the theory. If you are an advanced user and now you are looking gaining that microsecond here, millisecond here, or at the end, trying to speed up things by two, three, four, five percent, probably you can spend some time here. Okay, so this is all for this video. Thank you for your attention. And well, as usual, if you find our material useful, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to support our mission. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.